the holidays are one of the busiest times of the year, especially when it comes to online shopping, but you wanna know that your transactions are safe and secure. That's why we have Craig Fraley here today from Clark County Credit Union with some great tips on how to stay safe when you're purchasing things online. Craig, great to see you, how are you? Great to see you, JJ. Everything's uh, going great. I'm so glad uh, you want people to have a great holiday season, especially when it comes to not getting ripped off online. Let's talk about some of the big things to look out for. Yes, uh, the holiday season is also the holiday season for the bad guys. This is where they do their shopping and they're shopping to find your information so they can pretend to be you and, and steal your money. So, uh, but there's lots of things you can do during the holidays to uh, be careful and make sure that you don't let them in. Excellent, what are some of those tips that you have? Okay, what, when you're uh, shopping online, you wanna look at the address of the company that you're looking at. And you wanna make sure it starts with the HTTPS at the top of their address. That means you're looking at a secured encrypted website. If it doesn't have that, that's a red flag not to be shopping there. Also, you wanna use that two, uh, uh, that two factor authentication. That mm. especially when you're reaching out to your financial institution, it's kind of a pain, but it's really, really uh, secure and necessary. So that's like you go to, you wanna get into your own account and they say, we're gonna text you this code and you have to type it in. That way they know they're sending you uh, not somebody pretending to be you, the, the permission to get into your account. So that's very important that you do that as well. The other thing is you don't want to do is go to a public Wi-Fi area. Those don't do any financial transactions or your financial shopping on your on your phone or your laptop in a place that has an, un, an unsecured, uh, unencrypted Wi-Fi, which is the public Wi-Fi areas. Uh, bad guys love those areas because it's easier for them to, to see what you're doing to break into and get your information. Oof. So you wanna stay from that as well. And let's see, the other one, oh, the other thing that's real important is when you're shopping online, use your credit card more than your debit card. There are mm. laws that are in place to protect you and it limits your liability if anything fraudulent should happen with your credit card. And my wife and I just had this happen to us and you should check your accounts every day. And a couple of weeks ago, I noticed two charges on my credit card we did not make. And so we had to, uh, yeah, just some companies we never heard of. So somebody got a hold of our credit card information and made these purchases. So we contact the financial institution, they stopped the card, they gave us new cards, and we were not responsible to pay those because it was fraudulent. So use your uh, credit card. Now, if, they, if, they had, if I had used my debit card and they somehow got a hold of that information, mm. it wouldn't be as easy to get back. Boy, it just goes to show, here you are the you know director of BizDev over here at Clark County Credit Union. It even happens to you. So uh, I tell you, these, mm -hmm. these criminals are ambitious, they're smart, and quite frankly, we really gotta keep our eyes open. Um, is it true that cyber attacks actually happen more during the month of December? Yes, and, and the reason for that is they know that there's a lot more activity going on. They know you're gonna be online shopping. They know you're gonna be giving out your financial information, your PIN numbers, uh, security questions, you're gonna be doing all of that. And so you wanna be very careful and things you wanna look out for, I'm gonna give you some tips and when you're, uh, especially if somebody sends you an email mm -hmm. and one of the things that they'll do to fill in, it's called phishing. It's where they pretend to be your financial institution. They'll send an email to you and it'll have the logo on there. It'll look like it's really coming from your bank or credit union. And some things to look out for are if they're asking you to do any call to action, if that email is asking you to click on a link or to make a phone call and that phone call is not your bank's phone number, you don't want to ever click a link and you don't ever want to make that phone call. If you click a link on one of those fraudulent emails, that opens a window for them to get in and to start stealing your information. Mm -hmm. uh, also, if there's any, uh, misspelled words or uh, the errors in punctuation, if it's threatening in nature, uh, legitimate businesses don't operate that way. So if you have any reason to suspect that uh, somebody's initiated this uh, contact to you and it's fraudulent, don't open any links, don't make any phone calls, simply delete that correspondence and contact your financial institution directly. Thank you so much for the heads up, really. I really want people around the Valley to exercise caution. You know, I, I really, it makes me so mad when I hear people being victimized. Um, 
and it happens to a lot of folks and especially seniors and that makes yep. me extra mad mm -hmm. uh craig you know i love connecting with you i just want to say thank you for all the great conversations we've had um, over the year not only do i appreciate your financial uh, advice but you're a hobbyist magician um, and you've done a little magic yes. for me on the side and i always enjoy that as well Sure. Well, I'll tell you, if and keeping it in the theme of today, if the bad guys get a hold of your financial information, they can burn right through your money. So you <laughs> want to make sure that you don't let them get into your wallet in any way whatsoever. Oh. And I just want to mention uh, uh, one more thing uh, that we're celebrating this year is our third year in a row celebrating our CCTU happy bonus days for our Visa card holders. Yes. And what this is, is our members, when they use their Visa, Clark County Credit Union Visa card, from Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday, not only will they get great rewards on their uh, used by those purchases using their credit card, they'll be qualified to win up to fifteen hundred dollars paid down on their balances. Amazing. We're also going to, yeah, we're also going to donate fifteen hundred dollars to three local charities that were voted on by our staff, which is uh, Cure for Kids Foundation, uh, Las Vegas. I want to make sure I read this right. It yep. was the uh, Safe Nest and Las Vegas Rescue Mission. So those three charities awesome. will each receive fifteen hundred dollars. And That's the way wonderful. that our members qualify, yeah, it's it's really fun. And the way that our members qualify to have their uh, balances paid down is they simply use their credit card, their Clark County Credit Union Visa card, from uh, Thanksgiving to Cyber Monday. Every time they use it within those dates, it counts as an entry, mm -hmm. and for their qualification and three. Uh, members will be randomly selected to have their balances paid down up to fifteen hundred dollars. So it's a really so fun much. way to kick off the holiday season. I'm so sorry we run out oh, of time. Yeah, no it problem. was magnificent. Thank you That's for the okay. magic trick as well. Uh, gosh, uh, reach out to Clark County Credit Union. Quite an amazing opportunity there right now this time of year. Uh, CCCULV.org. The phone number right on your screen.